Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics 2 Tutor, and in this section we're going to cover, begin to cover, what I consider to be some of the most interesting material in all of physics, and I do mean that sincerely. And the topic in this section is called transverse waves. All right, so I don't know what it is, but from my point of view, there's something about a wave that's just really fascinating and really interesting. And I think what it is is that, and I think you, you have some sort of idea what a wave is, and we're going to talk a lot about it exactly here and draw pictures and everything else. But just from a big picture point of view, I think you know a wave is just some sort of disturbance that propagates and that travels somewhere. And that disturbance or that propagation can carry energy with it. In other words, if you're standing on the beach, or let's say you're standing in the water at the beach, and the waves come crashing in, you know that when those waves hit you, they have carried energy because they can knock you over. They can actually tumble you over. So they started out hundreds of miles away at sea, and somehow through that disturbance through the water, they've come and they've knocked you over. Same thing with taking a uh, sunbathing uh, at the beach, right? So you're sitting at the beach, no, you know, you're not doing anything other than laying down. The sun's waves, electromagnetic waves in those case, which is just a disturbance in the electromagnetic um, fields that travel from the sun to the earth, those waves come all the way through space, 93 million miles away, and then come through our atmosphere, come right down on top of you on that beach, and they carry energy with them. The reason that you know they carry energy with them is because you, you get hot, right? Obviously, they carry heat, that's energy, and they eventually burn you. They actually carry enough energy all the way from the sun that they burn you. Now, that's just pretty fascinating to me that you can have a disturbance carry that you know, energy like that. So that's why I think waves are interesting. What we're going to do in this section is cover transverse waves. We'll talk what that means in just a second, but as we go forward, I want you to understand that this section and the subsequent sections are absolutely critical for those of you going on into Physics 3, which I'll cover in a subsequent course, uh, and also into those of you that are studying electrical engineering and physics and, and all of those subjects where wave theory is really, really important. So this is the bedrock. This is the bedrock. So what is a wave? We've already talked about it but I want to write it down because it's very very important so a wave in general is what it's a disturbance in a medium that carries energy away from the source which is exactly what I said. Now, to give you an idea of what this means, if you're in the water, the source would be, if my hand is here and I'm wiggling the water up and down, well, that's the source. I'm, I'm putting energy into the water and those waves carry the energy away and they'll just go on and on forever, getting less and less intense as they spread out. So what are some examples here? You obviously, you have sound waves. which travel through a medium. See, they dis there are disturbance in a medium. Sound waves travel through what? Air, usually. But of course, if you're swimming in a swimming pool and you put your head underwater, you can still kind of hear what's going on. It doesn't sound normal, but you can hear. So sound waves can obviously propagate in water as well. But usually when we talk about sound waves, we're always talking about air. We can talk about water waves, which are the waves at the beach. And of course, they propagate through water as the medium. Uh, just another example, a wave on a string. Wave on a string, obviously the medium would be the string. The parentheses here, I'm trying to tell you what they're traveling on. And finally, I'm going to give a little honorable mention here, a light wave. Also known as an electromagnetic wave. That's the more intimidating way to say it, but really it's just a light wave. What medium does light travel through? Well, it turns out, and this is getting into some more advanced physics, this is an exception to this little definition here because it requires uh, no medium. Now, I want you, we're not going to talk that much about light waves in specific here. I mean, all of the theory we're going to talk about in, in terms of how to write light, uh, a wave down, it's going to apply to electromagnetic waves, which are light waves. But there's one huge difference between light waves and the rest of these that we're going to talk about, and that is that light doesn't require a medium. Think about it. You flick a wave on a string, you require the string to carry the wave. 
you disturb the water, the water is required to move that wave forward because that's what the wave is in, right? Uh, if you're speaking from me to you, the sound waves are going out through the air, through the molecular collisions reaching from me to you, the medium is the air. And for a long, long time, hundreds of years, every scientist in the world, a few hundred years ago, also thought that light required a medium just like everything else. But it turns out through lots of experimentation and theories and so on that light doesn't actually require any medium at all. And that is how the sunlight can go from the sun to the earth through dead empty space. You can suck every molecule of air out of space in a jar or whatever and the light will sail right on through it. So I want you to think about that because it's not intuitive. It's not something that you would say, oh yeah, light doesn't need a medium. It's very, very odd. Light is very, very special. It's all around us. We take it for granted, but light is very, very special. So keep that in the back of your mind. Now, in general, there are two types of waves, two broad classifications of waves. The first one we're going to talk about 